Yes, I sat in the British Parliament for almost 25 years and uh, sat in the Parliament when Ofcom was created. And of course, none of this overtly political censorship was in the Parliament's mind when these proposals were laid before them. Uh, this is not about media regulation. After all, not only, as your correspondent said, are all sorts of foreign-based television channels modelled exactly along the same lines as Press TV, still broadcasting on the Sky platform, but you have the most disgusting, the most obscene sex channels by the dozen operating under Ofcom's nose, uh, and uh, of course they're free to do so. Our crime at Press TV was not only that we were telling the truth that some, indeed most, other broadcasters were deliberately concealing, but we were becoming more and more popular, which is why you're right to show the many different ways that it will still be possible to see Press TV in the United Kingdom, uh, because uh, we have built an audience for the station very quickly and very widely uh, over the last couple of years, precisely because of the shortcomings of other uh, channels. I've been saying all along that this is uh, a blow, of course, to Press TV. It means some of our viewers will find it more difficult to watch us. But it's much more of a blow to the British government's uh, hypocritical stance of being in favor of freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Indeed, we're often told here in Britain that we must actually go to war in other people's countries to bring such freedoms to them. Or we're told we must sanction other countries in order to help bring such freedoms to them. Well, now the whole world can see that flag that you're showing on the screen now uh, is a flag of hypocrisy, not democracy. And uh, if you can tell us a little bit, uh, uh, George, about uh, the CEO of Ofcom and any other personnel of Ofcom in terms of their past, uh, their relations if there are any, to the UK government, for example? Yes, uh, most of them, in fact, fit into one or other of those categories. They are highly paid factotums, ultimately, as your package showed, servants of the British state. They're not independent at all, as this action makes clear. After all, it was foreshadowed uh, in the WikiLeaks cables which revealed a discussion between British and American officials in which it was explicitly stated that uh, steps were being taken to find a way to put Press TV London off the air. We saw the quotation in the Sunday Times, one of Mr. Murdoch's uh, gutter newspapers, uh, in which a highly placed Foreign Office official was quoted directly uh, saying that, uh, yes, efforts were being made to take Press TV off the air. This is long before any question of fines over 10-second uh, news clips. Uh, they were out to get us because we were achieving more and more of a share of the audience. We were being discussed more and more in the country. More and more people were queuing up to be interviewed by us because they could see that this press TV was a voice for the voiceless, which I'm sure, God willing, it will continue to be. So Ofcom is not independent. It has proved today that it is a servant of the British state and the British government. And that means Mr. Cameron, who was kissing the nose of the Saudi dictatorship last week and kissing the nose uh, of the Bahraini dictator uh, in London at 10 Downing Street just a week or two before. And uh, you have uh, shown the close relationship between Britain and these puppet dictatorships in the Persian Gulf and uh, our unremitting determination to show the truth about what's happening in Saudi Arabia and Bahrain is definitely one of the reasons why we've suffered this fate. But the biggest reason was not touched on in your package, and it is our determination to tell the truth 
about the ongoing Israeli crimes against the Palestinian people. That, if you were drawing up a list of crimes on our charge sheet, is definitely at the top. Ofcom has constantly harassed Press TV throughout the four years that I've worked there on the issue of Israel and Palestine. They think that they may have done Israel a favor uh, today, but truthfully, Israel's in so much trouble, it'll take much more than this to effectively do Israel a favor. Well, as your package showed, there's an inherent contradiction in their stand. If Press TV London does not control the editorial content, why was Press TV London fined £100,000? And if Press TV London does control the content, why has its license been revoked? Truthfully, this is all just window dressing. It's throwing sand in the eyes uh, of the undiscerning. But it will not uh, convince or persuade many people in Britain who know the real reason why we've been taken off air. As my colleague Roshan made clear earlier in this bulletin, we are controlled in exactly the same way as France 24, CNN, Russia Today, CCTV, and any one of dozens of uh, foreign-owned television stations who happen to be on the Sky platform. And the day will come, I have no doubt, when Britain's relations with one or other of these countries that are represented through their television stations on the Sky platform will fall foul of political relations with Britain. And the same merry-go-round, the same constructions, false constructions, can be made against them. And they should uh, beware of that. Uh, the British government uh, likes to dress up in the clothes of liberty, but in truth, it is far from a friend of liberty, and they have demonstrated it in the course of their uh, action against Press TV throughout the last few months and again today. The great Briton Francis Bacon uh, described self-censorship as the arrow that flies in the night because no one sees it, but it achieves its deadly effect. And this action today by Ofcom will undoubtedly cause self-censorship elsewhere in the media operating in Britain because uh, people at the top of other media outlets will know that if uh, they or the country to which they belong falls foul of the British Anglo-American foreign policy axis that the same thing can happen to them. So they will begin, uh, like the arrow flying in the night, to self-censor themselves before Ofcom ha has to do it for them. And that will be a general leveling down of the level of truthfulness in the, in the British media, uh, which is already in a pretty parlous condition, I must tell you. The, uh, the cat's chorus of conformity uh, within the prevailing orthodoxy in the great majority of stations broadcasting in Britain is already uh, becoming infamous around the world. The BBC, which was once the pride of Britain, became the Bush and Blair Corporation and hasn't recovered from that period and is uh, absolutely craven in front of uh, power because, of course, the British state controls the purse uh, on which they all live and live very well, just like the executives at Ofcom live very well out of the public purse. Um, of course, stations like Russia Today uh, are uh, much, much better than that but they will undoubtedly be influenced by the uh, actions of Ofcom today against Press TV, and that will lead to a loss for the viewer uh, w watching on the Sky platform. But we must stress that the number of people watching us on the Sky platform, whilst growing and whilst significant, pales into insignificance compared to the people watching us all over the world on a plethora of different platforms, and that today has begun to be replicated. I've had dozens already of emails in Britain from people telling me that they're still watching Press TV on one of the other satellites that you have mentioned or uh, through the internet or through the downloadable app on their telephone. This is the 21st century. The era of the censor has largely gone.